Hello everyone, it is a holiday here. It is Columbus Day or Native American Day like we call it here in South Dakota. And so I'm gonna vlog. Um, it is already 10.30 and we've had some things going on, house projects, I'm gonna show you some of those. Um, if you didn't see my last video, my fall outdoor decor, I got my hair cut. So it is short, it's very short. Um, I probably cut at least nine inches off of my hair. And I am loving it. The short hair, um, just not having to deal with all the clumps coming out after post-pregnancy, so it's nice. But Neve is down for her mid-morning nap, and let me show you what Blaze is working on. All right, so you can probably already tell that is our old toilet. And there's a new one. And it smells a little bit like sewage. He's doing a great job. Probably some struggles, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Look at the paint. There's red back there. Oh, I picked up the rug because I had, he didn't want to get toilet drippings all over that. I didn't need to clean that area. Um, what else have I done? So I made some banana cookies. It's super easy recipe. It's just uh, mashed bananas like three of them like a cup and a half of oats and then I put chia in it as well dark chocolate chips and some butternut butternut butter scotch chips and some raisins but I did also roast some butternut squash for Nevea. we are doing baby led weaning and so she's had some carrots and green beans and butternut squash um, I like the uh, the baby led weaning because then they get the idea of like picking it up and doing it themselves into the mouth. We have held it for her and put it in her mouth, but she just nibbles on it and kind of chews on it. And you're supposed to season it like we normally season it. So she's had some salt on there, like avocado oil, coconut oil on the squash. Um, she seems to be enjoying it. We do it like twice a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. So yeah, that's been a fun experience just to see her eat that um today too i still need to dig up some of my potatoes in my garden we have had some freezing so i need to get those out and my carrots too but they're supposedly supposed to taste sweeter once it freezes once at least for the carrots um i got some dishes to clean up here later i have to head and get some groceries to our city which is like 45 minute drive one way go to aldi and then come back uh, so there's a lot left to do in a day that could go very, very quickly. All right, let me show you our fridge to let you know how much we need groceries. This is just left over from youth group, so not even there. My sauerkraut needs to be dumped. It's like from April. And then just my kombucha scobies. That's a top shelf. And then just one egg in there. No eggs. We just had oatmeal this morning because we don't have eggs, so I couldn't make eggs. Chicken, deli meat. I just have a couple apples in there. And yeah, it needs some good cleaning too, so I'm going to do that. I might as well throw that away while I'm at it. much better it's so much nicer to have clean shelves and clean drawers before you put stuff away and it's been oh six months since i have really deep cleaned it so it's really nice all right i'm sitting in the all day parking lot um one thing i really wish we had is instacart i would love to have groceries delivered but we live too far away so um we're in aldi navea is sitting in the back She's sucking her finger. So we're gonna go in and load up on groceries. Like you saw, our fridge is sparse. 
and we need some produce. It is very much lacking. So um, I just snacked on an RX bar, the pumpkin spice. It is so good. I ordered a box of them from Walmart. So they came last week and I've been eating them sparingly because they're just seasonal. So they are really good because uh, it is lunchtime right now. So I'm gonna hit the Aldi store. I'm um, probably not gonna film because it is pretty busy today. So just gonna go in and get it done. We got a full vehicle and I found a splurge rug. I'll have to show it to you um, when I get home, but oh my goodness, we really need the groceries. So very full. I love using reusable bags, but I'll show you some of the stuff when we get back home. Well, our fridge looks so much more full. It's not overflowing though either, but I got a head of cauliflower and some of the milk, cottage cheese, yogurt, some eggs. Oh, what's going on? Can There's the whole toilet. All right, let's watch this manly thing. Job. Talking about the toilet, right? The, man the toilet's manly. Do you need help? Nope. Okay. I think some Maggie needs to go away though. Smart. Using the card. Okay, back to the fridge. Um, he got the toilet out. Yay! Anyways, I bought some avocados too. They were 59 cents, which is awesome. And then our vegetable bin. I always, always buy tons of spinach. And then I have two uh, things of romaine and a cucumber in there, but I buy that much spinach because we cook it for breakfast every morning. Oh, down there we got some of the Belvia lemon water, however you say that, and some of the other non-refrigerated items. I was in the mood for some fruit trail mix, it was on my list. I love these veggie straws, and then I bought veggie chips out of balsamic um, beef broth for a recipe I think I'm going to try later. Cream of mushroom was also on sale, so I bought two of those. They were out of tomato soup, which was a bummer. Um, and then I bought, um, what is this? Why can't I think? Alfredo, Alfredo sauce! Thank you, Blaze. Parmesan cheese and some tuna. And we're going to eat the last of our deer from 2016. So that'll be yummy for supper. Let me have it face you. I bought a whole chicken, some pork, like pork butt, and then pork chops. And I thought there was one, oh, some tilapia. So I did buy quite a bit of meat because we are in the bare minimum. We are going to buy some hamburger from a friend who butchered a steer. So that'll be nice to have on hand. Um, later when we get that but yeah my f deep freeze was like pfft, so empty oh I also bought some bread I forgot about that and then I got this rug this was the splurge for seven dollars I really like the pattern I think I'm gonna cover my um, kitchen rug here that I have to make it more fall and winter instead of it's really bright I'll just show you so this is what I currently have oh it's gonna be short so maybe I'll just uh, put this here anyways without the cushy under it. There, <laughs> no, I have to get rid of the other one, but I really like this accent rug. Bummer, it's a little shorter than I thought. Yeah, that's where the splurge comes in. When you don't measure, it doesn't work very well. But I will definitely be using this rug. It's super cute. Oh, hi, me, what's going on? I just sleep sack stuck on you. I know, I took it off because I just got you off. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi. Yeah. What do you think? Were you pulling at your socks? Look at Your socks are coming off. Were you pulling at your socks? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Pull your socks. Oh, yeah. You're going to pull them off. You're going to pull them off. Yeah. I forgot to mention, I got a pineapple. It was like $1.40 and two bunches of bananas and sweet potatoes. I forgot all of those because they were hidden. Yeah, ignore our junk food. We were at my family's for the weekend and I took donuts and then my sister-in-law makes homemade pumpkin bread so I took some of that back. 
yes i still have to do all the dishes but i have um old world home her vlogtober i'm catching up from the weekend so much fun to watch and um she was commenting about a shirt from walmart and that made me think about in my last two videos, I wore a shirt from Walmart that was clearance and many of you liked it. So it was just on the clearance rack. It was like a green, very fall green color. And it was only seven bucks on a clearance rack at Walmart, which is pretty good for um, a clearance rack. I normally thrift, but I really liked the shirt. And I am drinking my second cup of coffee, rewarming it. It is a beautiful fall day. I still need to go dig out my carrots and potatoes. Um, I've just been exhausted. I don't know why I've been so tired, but over the weekend I was exhausted. I fell asleep on the drive home last night. Um, and then tomorrow I have to take my all state choir kids to like an hour and a half away. And so we're leaving super early, um, like 6.45 from the school. So it, it'll be a full day tomorrow too. And so I wanna try to rest a little bit today, but I know I need to also get things done and it's hard for me to rest when I am home on a day that I don't have school. So I'm gonna try to just continue to go. Um, Nevaeh's just still up. Hopefully she'll take her afternoon nap. Her naps have been super short today. So I don't know what's going on because when she was back with my family, her naps were like two hours long, which was great. So we'll see. She might be going through a girl spurt or something. I don't know. Got my shovel, my garden gloves, and my baby monitor strapped to my waist. I'm gonna dig up some potatoes and then go, ugh, go get my carrots. And it is windy, but welcome to South Dakota. It is never not windy. I don't think there's a day where it's just still. do is deadhead all these zinnias. I want to save their seeds because this is how this whole patch of zinnias grew was from seeds from previous zinnias I had and it was gorgeous if you saw some of my earlier vlogs. I loved it. It is still a junk of a garden over here <laughs> but this cleanup is gonna have to wait for another day. I only have time to dig out my carrots that are like right over there so i got some potatoes out not as many as i was hoping but hopefully i get a good number of carrots because we eat carrots more than potatoes anyways smell so sweet they are so good I really think that first frost helped the first freeze that we had I gotta find a box for them aren't these just beautiful well I got the carrots and potatoes out of the garden I got Nevea a bear she got a little yogurt on her face still I'm trying to start feeding her I tried um uh, butternut squash again she wasn't having that so I tried yogurt nope so we just gave her a bath and she's ready to eat eat from mama aren't you honey Ain't ya? Yeah. So she's ready to eat. And then she goes to bed about 6 or 6.30 sometimes. So we got about an hour left till it's 6 o'clock. And we would like her to start eating supper with us. Or at least sit there with us. Which is hard when she goes to bed that early. So I'm going to have to start planning to eat by like 5.30 or 6 o'clock. Which is hard when I get home from school at like 4.45. 
So I gotta rework, revamp a uh, schedule or have stuff in the Instant Pot, which I've done lots of Instant Pot meals since school has started. Uh It is about 8 o'clock and Blaze and I are going to sit down to watch the new Hallmark mystery that came out yesterday. I have my homemade hot chocolate. I shower it up and I am ready for folding laundry and watching a Hallmark mystery with my husband. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog and give it a thumbs up if you did. I will be talking with you in the next video. Bye.